campers, this is Melanie, I'm from Germany and today I want to show you a card tutorial where you actually have a revolving disc and this is how it looks like. You need your paper cutter, then you just make a regular card, a base stock or card base or whatever it's called <laughs> and some designer paper. You punch out with one of your punches, you can pick whatever you like. Um, a little punch in the middle, I'd recommend the middle. And that's the base. And you need some dimensionals, uh, maybe the edges on the left and right side. That's what works best. So that's what it looks like. You cut out a circle or better you punch one out, a big one. It should fit right into the middle of the card, like in the inside. And then you place the circle like this, like you have, that you have a little bit left over on the side. Punch a hole in the middle with your paper piercing tool. Use a bread. The bread is nobody going to see in the end. So that's what it looks like. You can already spin it and yeah, looks perfect. So now we need some stamps. The stamp should be matching your punch. In this case, um, I already prepared everything, stamped, punched them out. Those are my punches. And then you place them with the mini glue dots on the circle. Use your little window and then spin it until you don't see the other stamp anymore. Use your mini glue dot and then you keep doing that the whole time. Um, it kind of depends where uh, or how many kind of um, stamps you can place where you um, actually um, placed your circle. Um, in some other cards I actually have like six uh, little stamps. Well in this case I just, well, use Make a Monster for little face, funny face, um, but you can use whatever you like. And I also would recommend sometimes the designer paper if you um, have some um, other punch or something around it then you actually see the um, base of the card as well, um, like in the first picture in the beginning. So that's the inside, then you close it with the dimensionals. Then you just decorate it, in this case I used some uh, sticky tape and a bow and some ribbon. And then you will need a base card made out of um, white cardstock, I'd recommend, but it doesn't really matter. And you also need to Stick it on that base card with sticky tape, otherwise it's too heavy. So this is what it looks like, you can spin it and I hope you enjoyed it, you understood everything and thanks for watching.